In this lesson, you'll learn how to initially manage a fracture. Patients presenting to the emergency department with fractures have one primary complaint, pain. Your job is to make them feel better and ensure that there's no life-threatening issues. Often, the gruesome appearance of an open fracture, a deformed arm, or the severe pain distracts the doctors from life-threatening injuries that may be less apparent. So, when caring for trauma victims, your priority should be to focus on the most important elements, namely the airway, breathing, circulation, and disability, like a spinal cord injury. Once you have stabilized your patient and addressed acute life-threatening issues, you can focus on the fracture. So, let's look at fractures that can be life-threatening. An example is a femur fracture, like in this x-ray, as they can lead to significant blood loss from an associated arterial injury and bleeding into the leg tissues. Other fractures may lead to loss of function or tissue of the extremity involved. For example, a fracture of the humerus, like this, can potentially lead to radial nerve or artery injury due to the proximity of these structures. Evaluating the extremity for presence of distal arterial pulse and for motor nerve function, as well as sensory nerve function, will help to prioritize which fractures to address first. For less obvious fractures, the most common complaint is pain localized to the site of the fracture. Depending on how long it took for the patient to arrive to the hospital, there may be significant swelling and bruising in that area. In addition to tenderness at the site of injury, some other clues that there may be a fracture include deformity, shortening of the limb, loss of function, such as not being able to bear weight on a broken ankle, or limited mobility because of pain and swelling. One important complication you should definitely evaluate for is compartment syndrome, when the injury in a muscle compartment causes swelling and increased pressure. This pressure exceeds the arterial pressure needed to perfuse the tissues in that compartment, which leads to increasing pain, especially with passive stretching of the muscles in that compartment. The most important clue for this is pain out of proportion to the injury in the area of the effect of the compartment. As the swelling progresses and tissues die because of poor perfusion, there will be loss of sensation and distal pulses. By the time this occurs, there has been irreversible harm. Ultimately, a compartment syndrome is diagnosed based on a high clinical suspicion and evaluating the compartment pressures with a special device. It's also important to recognize fractures that may need urgent reduction. A clue for this is the presence of tense skin and even blisters over the fracture site. For example, this image shows a dislocated ankle with a tense skin overlying it. The important point is to reduce the fracture fast in order to prevent skin breakdown. Moving on to open fractures, they may not always be as obvious as this example. They can sometimes be very subtle with only a very small puncture on the skin. So it's important to carefully consider this possibility. Usually, the clue is that there is at least a little bit of blood on the skin. Since open fractures can lead to infection and complications, the rule is to give a tetanus immunization if it's not up to date, start antibiotics, and emergently consult an orthopedic surgeon to take the patient to the operating room for irrigation. And finally, splinting is, of course, the major part of providing pain relief and stabilizing a fracture. So, We'll spend a lot of time on this in the rest of the Med Mastery course. Now you can be confident you'll know what to do when a patient first presents with a fracture. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Med Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Med Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.